Nike ambushed me, man. So I got these from sneakers and um, I basically tried to get this colorway. As soon as I got them, uh, they sold out, sold out. But then like after like, an hour, there was a full size run again on Nike's side. I'm like, why does Nike do that? They always allow you to feel like you're special and then realize that, well, you shouldn't need Nike to validate that you're special. Any which way, uh, I'm joking around because honestly, it didn't matter if these sold out or not. This is one of those models, colorways that I've been wanting to try. You guys have left comments asking me to review this model specifically, it's been one that I saw original images on. I was super geeked about it because they're bringing back a model from the past. Uh, and that is why I was excited to get these. This colorway too, obviously very uh, Travis Scott-esque. Uh, so I wanted to compare both of those, the Travis Scott fours to this. But this is the Ambush Air Adjust Force SP retail. I believe it was 200 or so on these. I'll get into some details. Uh, but uh, Yoon from Ambush is uh, definitely onto something because these things are nuts, man. Even though people aren't appreciating them in the modern day and age, this is such a cool era of basketball sneakers. The idea of what these offered was something else. And you could see it has a removable shroud on top of the shoe and you'd have a base model colorway of this and then you could change the colors of the shrouds. So you can kind of just expand the color wheel with just different shrouds that you could buy uh, for the product. I thought it was a really cool, clever idea. But Nike's done a bunch of different crazy ideas like this in the past. In fact, I have a pair of the Nike Morphs. Those things are nuts too. I had to break out both pairs of these things, man. So the old box, this would have been cool if they did like an older box like this, but I don't know if it was from the same Alpha Project era. Anyway, this is a, uh, a really crazy pair. This is the Gary Payton 3, but this is the Nike Morph, and this sleeve actually comes off, and it reveals a completely different shoe underneath that. Also, I do have the Pippin version as well, and they had a Jason Kidd version, which is the one that I don't have, but you literally can take this whole thing out, and the whole thing comes off, and it's a removable shroud. Uh, so it takes this to the next level really, and then just removes the entire thing. I don't remember when this one came out originally. Uh, I don't know if it was before or after. I just remember it around that same era. Anyway, it's pretty crazy that Nike's able to create such different out of the box like versions of sneakers. Now this one didn't do very well, unfortunately. It's still kind of a cool idea. And then you do have the Air Jordan 17s that has the removable shroud as well, which actually I product tested uh, playing basketball at Nike back in the day when those ones uh, before they came out and so we got to try different shrouds some of them just had magnets and they just would fall off when you're running around and balling and other ones you know they use the velcro and i think ultimately they went with velcro and magnet on them but uh but those ones were kind of crazy as well anyway uh it takes me back to that moment of like the older like just trying to break out of the box nike sneakers that they used to release it's just something different something fun gimmicky maybe as well but just fun the fact that they're just evolving and trying to change up things uh, on uh, just the footwear market. Anyway, the Air Adjust Force, I wanna get into some details about this, uh, what they say about the product. Air Adjust Force Ambush, University Blue and Habanero Red, $210 is the price point. Yoon hits fresh on a Klatstein hoop shoe you've longed to see back on the streets. From rich full grain leather to comb branding details that add currency to your step, the Air Adjust Force Ambush lets you dance the line between off-court uh, style and runway flare. We kept the removable midfoot strap that made this look a legend. You can even mix and match or give your extra foot extra allure. As for color, University Blue and Habanero Red colorways is sure to bring the drop wherever you go. I'm not a big fan of whoever writes those uh, those descriptions. It's not very helpful. It needs to be more fused with history, in my opinion, but that would be helpful for somebody like me who actually reads it and wants some of the history. Regardless of that, this color was kind of crazy. Obviously, it reminds a lot of people of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 4. Uh, and I would say, yeah, it does. I mean, definitely the same color-ish of blue. It's a little bit more vibrant than on this one. Uh, then accents of black and then the red accents is where things change. This is the habanero red. It's a little bit brighter. I don't know the official color of this one. It's not as bright. And then the outsole as well is different. You have the regrind on the uh, ambush version and then obviously the milky clear uh, mixed with the black on the Travis Scott's. Absolutely love this shoe. Got this one at the UN last time or a couple times ago that I went. I think I paid six something for them. Missed out on retail, so I had to pay to play, but really like this one. Anyway, so I don't have a rich history on the shoe, unfortunately, because again, I didn't have them back in the day, but I did like what they offered and the removable shroud was a really cool feature. Now, one thing I would say is they probably should have included another shroud. For $210, it's a lot of money. And conceptually, it's cool that they have another shroud, but in order to get another shroud from the Ambush collection, I have to buy another shoe. And then there's like four different colorways now and it's 200 I mean, you do the math, $840, it's a lot of money. For 210, give me another color shroud. Give me a red accent shroud or a black with red accents on it. They should have like matched them to the specific colorway because the other colorways and the shrouds might not 
go well with this colorway. So it's like no point in mixing and mashing them. That's a big miss in my opinion, something that they could have included that would have made this worth the extra buck but uh, something that they could have even charged extra for. But ultimately I understand extra costs and this is a really nice shroud too. The suede on here is really nice. Like this feels really nice in hand. The build on this is actually uh, pretty awesome as well. So it would have been cool. I'm just saying I would have loved to see it. Unfortunately it didn't happen. As I mentioned though, the materials on the upper, super nice, nice and buttery. And then it continues that through the shroud, another big plus. And then you do have mega plush lining in the tongue as well as some extra heel lining right up here. You can see it kind of puffs out the top. It looks like it might be uncomfortable back here, but it's not. It's actually infused inside. Uh, so it looks like it extends outward, but it's also infused in the inside of the heel as well. So not terrible. Feels really good and just nice overall bulky feel right there. And this definitely is a kind of a chunky basketball shoe for this day and age. The rubber on the outsole is pretty massive as you can see. The midsole foam kind of just floats up the sidewalls of the shoe. I don't remember why they did that back in the day if it was for support. It definitely wasn't for cushioning because it's not underfoot, it's on the sides. Support reasons would make sense, especially around the heel cup. I do like that Nike swoosh on the shroud. On this side, it would be cool if they would have added something on this side, although obviously it's not necessarily the way it was. It would have been a nice little addition, but all in all, like, is this a buy? I mean, honestly, if you're a fan of something different, if you like the collaborations, if you like retro basketball sneakers, uh, this is a really cool model. It's not gonna be one for everybody. It's not gonna be uh, the fan favorite for most people just because the price point's a little bit too high. They're sitting, they're not selling out. So there's those factors. Post pandemic might be a factor as well, uh, just with the economy and everything right now. But the price point's a bit high at 210. If they drop on sale, 100 bucks, a buy all day for me. Uh, but 210, I'm good with one colorway. I don't need all of them. I do like the black and purple colorway as well. Saw those in person, but this material on this one is, is super nice. Anyway, it's fun to see more collaborations come from Yoon and uh, Ambush. I love that they brought back a retro basketball shoe from the 90s. I'd love to see more action like this. I mean, honestly, it's just something fun that they can bring out of the archives and have fun creating and bringing a new crowd to something that was once uh, popular and it's awesome to be able to see them do something like this. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section. The Ambush Air Adjust Force. I think it's a cool retro that they brought back. I'm curious to see if Nike just releases their own without the Ambush collaboration. Uh, but honestly, really, really dope. Price point's a little bit high, but happy that I got a pair. Happy that I got this colorway. Uh, leave a comment in the comments what you guys think and appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Have a good one and hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel for some more videos. All right, peace guys.